A big hello to everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today's correction will be on these nails here. I have known this client for a long time and I simply love working with her. Actually, we met years ago at a salon we both worked at. She worked there as a hairstylist and I of course did nails. It's been quite a while since her last correction and overall the coating has stayed on nicely. Nothing is broken, however there is some lifting on the index finger now. My client has short nail plates, so whenever she pushes off a refill, the coating always ends up almost entirely on the free edge of her nail. And this is what causes too much weight on the free edge and results in breakage. After looking at her nails, I'm getting straight to work and removing the prior product with a ceramic nail bit. However, as I worked with the ceramic bit, I noticed that it wasn't doing a very good job at taking down the product. Therefore, I'm switching to another nail bit, a carbide bit with green abrasion. This nail bit is harsher, but is taking down the prior product beautifully and quickly. And now to remove the lifting on the index fingernail. As I remove the length on the free edge, I'm holding down the area of lifting. Otherwise, the free edge could bend and that would be a very unpleasant experience for my client. And once I finally took off the lifting, lo and behold, a hair. My client laughed a little and told me that as a hairstylist, you will find hair pretty much everywhere after work, so she's not completely surprised. After removing all of the lifting, it's time to clean up the cuticle area.
For clients with dry skin and uneven cuticles, I really love to use the e-file to remove the lifted and dry cuticle. So I'm switching to a ball bit with blue abrasion and carefully removing the cuticle. And I have the e-file set to 18,000 RPMs. Now it's time to prep her nails for their coating. I'm thoroughly dehydrating her nails, applying a primer and a base coat. This base coat is nice and thick and is especially made for problematic nails. Then, over the cured base coat, I'm applying a fiberglass gel to repair the cracks on her index fingernail. The cracks on this nail are pretty bad, so even using a hard gel could result in breakage. Therefore, for a case like this, the fiberglass gel is the best way to go. And once the fiberglass gel is cured, I can confidently file down the free edge with my nail file. However, there is something that we should be aware of. When your client has short nail plates and the point of growth is high, filing nails like this could result in what I call the undesirable carrot shape, and especially if your client asks you to narrow out her nails. When the nail is flat, we're simply lifting the sides of the nail up, and if the nail is arched, it'll result in a shape like this if you look at it from the side. Therefore, try to avoid overfiling and file the nail in a way that complements its natural shape. After everything is nicely shaped, we can move on to our coating. First, I'm leveling out her nails in a thin layer of a builder gel. And then with my nail drill, I'm cleaning up from underneath and sealing the bottoms of her nail in a top coat. And just because summer is over doesn't mean that a manicure cannot be bright and colorful. Today, my client has chosen this beautiful rosy neon pink.
We'll also be doing a design today, and for this design, I'll need to coat her nails first in a nice dense white gel polish. While I let the white gel polish cure underneath the lamp, I chose some bright and beautiful neon pigments. Over the sticky layer of the white gel polish, I'm applying these beautiful pigments with a brush. The brush I'm using here is simply a makeup brush, one that I got off of AliExpress. It's nice and puffy and works great for applying powdery pigments. We are not done quite yet. The magic is really about to happen. Over the pigments, I'm creating small little stars in a top coat. And after those little elements have cured, I'm removing the excess powder, and just like magic, we are left with these beautiful, colorful little stars. And now, just to seal everything in the top coat, I love the way this design turned out and it was so much fun to complete. If you liked today's video then please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and until next time.